Hey, howdy, hey! Welcome back, everybody, to another... I thought you were about to say, welcome to Frontierland. <laughs> hey, howdy, hey, Per. This here's the wildest ride in the wilderness. Yep. Uh, welcome back, everybody, to another Travel with Josh and Taylor travel podcast. Da -da -da -da. We're on the road, on the road again. Just can't wait to be on the road again. Yeah, so uh, we thought we would uh, do the old podcasts from the road, on the road. Yes. So if you listen to our Patreon podcast, we do episodes in the car. Not super frequently, but every once in a while. If we've got a long drive because we're going somewhere, yeah. we'll, we'll do a little episode in the car to pass the time. Um, but this is our first video podcast, official video podcast in the car. We have done video in the car before. Um, was it driving you crazy? Yeah, it's bothering me already. Um, I was thinking about our, like when we were talking about doing this podcast in the car, I was thinking about our um, road trip through California because we put like our cam, our GoPro or 360 yeah. or something up on the uh, windshield and we recorded and um, we actually put it up like kind of perfect timing because it was just as we started getting near like the redwood trees, which was probably one of the most epic parts of that trip was like seeing those redwoods for the first time um if you've never been there or you haven't watched that video yet um you need to do both you need to watch the video but you also need to go there for yourself because it's amazing oh and i stopped talking in the middle of josh taking a little sippy yeah I... you should have kept the um microphone near it so they could get a little I, i'm not into the asmr <sighs> A little slurpy. I find that to be quite odd. Not that I have anything. You know, I'm not judging anybody, but those are. It's not I for me. love. I love those videos on TikTok. Yeah. So <laughs> this is the the uh, this is the trial run. So my biggest concern here is probably going to be audio because Taylor tends to talk very loudly. Our oh, mics are probably going to pick up each other's audio. So it's but a I trial think, run. We'll I see how it goes. I think for the the Patreon podcast, they've seemed to be turning out. They fine. seem to have been fine, yeah. We did get some new microphones. They're the same mics that we've used for the last couple of years. Um, but we basically, Josh just got the upgraded Slight version. sucks. Um, and we've got like a new little charger case that comes with them. Yeah. So, so we don't have to worry about them like needing recharged all the time because so, we just put them in a case. Yeah. So what's really nice is... Oh, those wow. little pups. <laughs> oh, I was looking at that girl's hair. I was looking at the dogs. Um, <laughs> I don't anyways, care about her hair. Side sidetrack. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so just talking real briefly about gear here, which is something that we don't normally talk about. Uh, Wait, before what, we get into gear, what are we talking about in this episode? No idea. Okay, so we um, can talk about whatever. Let's talk about the gear then. So, uh, actually, can I can I finish? Hold what on, I'm saying? hold on. Before we get into gear, I'm Taylor. Oh yeah, I did. Forget and this our is Josh. <laughs> I did forget to do introductions. We've been with uh, with our video podcast recently. Um, if you've been watching us for a while, you know that we don't really ever introduce ourselves in our videos because um, most of the time people that are watching us have been watching for a while um, or right. like kind of just figured out who we are from us talking to each other. And plus the name of our channel is Travel with Josh and Taylor. So right. it just kind of seems obvious at this point. Um, but we've been trying to do a better job, at least in the podcast videos, introdu introducing ourselves, which we already forgot. So that's why I had to interrupt Josh for the last time. Yeah. Anyway, so talking about, we're getting back to some gear talk here. This is yeah. stuff I could talk about all the time. But so I have been I like a gear talk. I've been a very uh, big fan of Rode microphones. So yeah. when they released their uh, original set, which I have uh, the Rode Wireless Go or whatever it is, Mark IIs, I think. Uh, I bought a set. I really like them. Thought they were great. And then I think for I think I may have actually bought a second set before our group cruise in August um, because I was like, you know, like I'm not going to have enough time to be able to unload these, get them charged back up again. I need to have a second set for everything that we're doing. And even then, during that trip, I think there's a few times I ran out. Yeah. Um, and so I had to bring the shotgun mic and attach that. And I don't really like using that too much because it's definitely – a different audio when you switch between that and well, these. Well, and the, the shotgun mic is fine when there's not a lot of 
extra commotion. sounds around. Right. Yeah. Like if it was just us and we were at home, like in the studio or sure, um, something like that. You know, in out the room. In, like even if we were out, like um, I'm going back to our California trip again. Um, but if we were out like by ourselves with right. not a lot of other noise, it wouldn't be as big of a deal. Um, but yeah, so mic's not good for where we were at. Yeah, and the nice the nice shotgun mic that I had, um, which was nicer than the road one that I have, was the Sony one. And oh yeah, I forgot we had that. Last one. year, I had just gotten the new Sony A1. I got this new microphone. Josh is obsessed we're, with his camera. We're in France. We're watching the uh, the nighttime oh, show, gosh. and I think I went to take a picture for somebody. Somebody said, "Can you take a picture for me?" And I said, "Sure, yeah." And I sat my phone down on my camera bag, which was on my chest, and I bent over. Oh, forgot! It's not attached to my body, and it rolled right off and fell into the ground. Your phone? The camera. No, you just said you set your phone down on your. Oh well, no! I mean, I set my camera down on the chest. Yes, the he chest had like bag. this chest bag, and he like and it fell off. Was trying to hold the camera while trying to take a picture, and I'm standing and, next to him with free hands. Yeah. And he didn't just say, "Hey Taylor, can you hold this real quick while I take their picture?" And, and luckily, <laughs> the lens hood and the microphone took the brunt of the fall. Yeah, we did break the lens hood. And the microphone still kind of worked, but it didn't. But anyways, long story short. I saw a video of another YouTuber that I watch because I really don't watch like other travel people. I watch like other camera people, like gear people, because, you yeah. know, like that's what I need to be watching. Uh, and I just saw that Rode released these new pro microphones. Mm -hmm. Comes with a charging case, which is something that DJI has been doing for a little while. Uh, and I almost was tempted to try DJI's. Uh, new wireless mics similar to these ones. Mm -hmm. But when I saw that Rode had them, I was like, I'm just going to get those. I'm comfortable with them. I know how they work. Yeah. I'm going to get the same quality that I'm going to get with DJI. So uh, I got these and they're really nice. And mm -hmm. what's, what I love about them is if like, if you're, so if you're a brand new YouTuber looking to get started, it might be a little bit out of your price range because they're like about $400. Um, but they're really nice because they come with a charging case. When you pull them out of the case, they automatically turn on and start recording. Yep. Um, Which is really great for us. Yeah. Because we're like, when we need to switch a mic, we're ready for it to be recording. Right. And the other thing is, is that when you put it back in the case, it automatically starts charging and it stops recording and turns off. Uh, and I don't have to beforehand with the old se series, uh, which I did bring because Caitlin and Tyler are going to be here um, and they'll need some mics. But the old series, you have to plug them in one at a time and offload them. These, the case has a charging plug and mount. So a mount, what I mean by that is just a, like, it's all one thing. So when I plug it in to the USB, it plugs right into the computer and it shows everything up on my computer. So it mounts everything all at the same time. I can get everything off at the same time. It's really nice. So they come I like with these. those little magnet things too. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. There's a lot Josh of other is like excited to try. It's like a little accessory. Yeah, there's like um, little magnet clips, so that it doesn't actually it doesn't have to clip onto your shirt. You like how I magnet. have my mic clipped onto my seatbelt right now. Yeah, um, you can actually just put it inside and have a magnet, and it'll stay on just like that. Mm -hmm. So, excuse me. Sorry, I'm having some. We'll see. Belching going on. It's because you just not, started uh, drinking a I monster. Know. Uh, I've been interested to today. see how you end up wearing this new mic because we haven't gone anywhere since we got these new mics. I'm going to wear probably the same that I have always been like wearing. Like on your little mics. clip thing in the middle? Yeah, I'll or... like wear it on the clip strap or um, I'll put it, I might try and put it underneath my shirt actually, depending on how many layers I'm wearing. Yeah. So I, um, we've, we've been talking about river cruising. Obviously, if you guys watched last week's uh, video or listen to the podcast. Um, we've been talking about river cruising, and I have been going back and rewatching our videos. Uh, there are really not many videos that I will rewatch, but of our own. <laughs> yeah, right. Disney is one like I will never rewatch any Disney videos that we make. Um, but all of our like other trips, I have... are a little more special. Like I'll yeah. go back and rewatch them. But I noticed that there's a few there's a few times where the mic may have been underneath my coat or was underneath your coat, and it was really hard. Like, the audio quality uh, wasn't as good because it was a little muffled. Well, so. I have also changed, um, since that River Cruise, I've changed how I wear my microphone. Um, because 
Well, and actually I think even on the Mediterranean, I did this too. So probably the last six months or so, I switched from wearing a backpack when we go out to wearing a little crossbody bag, um, right. a belt bag, if you will, because in I think it was last week's episode, I couldn't remember what it was called. And I, and I was like, oh, a bum bag, because that's what our friend Alan always calls it, a bum bag, um, or like a fanny pack, if you will. But I wear these crossbody bags now just because I found these ones on Amazon that are great. I shared them on our stories before, and I'll probably have to post them again because I just got another one because I love them so much, and they have every color. They have so many pockets, and they're they're only 25 bucks. And like, there are some brands of these bags that are so expensive. And I'm like, why would I pay for that when I can get this one with a million pockets for 25 bucks and I can get it with my two day shipping. <laughs> um, but I will wear it literally just how I have it on my uh, seatbelt right now with my mic right here. But another place I will wear it, I'll actually put it under my clothes um, on my bra so that it's hidden. Um, and I do that because I don't want it to be in photos. And sometimes I don't know when we're gonna be stopping to take a photo or like I'm going to take a selfie real quick and I don't think about my mic. So sometimes I have my mic out here and sometimes I have it under my clothes. But I, I already thought about this when we got these new mics um, that for the river, like if we do another river cruise or um, even in Iceland where I might have to be wearing layers um, just to keep warm, I'll probably have to wear my mic on the outside so that I'm not as muffled as I was in the past. Yeah. Um, but I was also wearing like a, I think I was wearing a backpack on the river cruise. A black backpack. Yeah, I, th I think you were. Um, Rumble oh, strips. Oh, uh, there's a truck up here. Yeah, so we don't, I, know, I guess we really haven't really talked about gear talk. It, that actually just made me think of like a video that we did years ago of like gear talk that we did. That was in Disney, actually, of like yes. things that we bring in in the parks and like what we uh -huh. use the vlog with, you know? Um, and of course like that has changed, but, uh, if you guys don't know, obviously we have a partnership with a travel agency and, and part of that, I will do like one-on-ones with our travel agents and talk to them about like social media stuff and, uh, try to get them like out in front of their own cameras more often because, you know, it's a good way to sell yourself so people can get to know you through social media. Um, and I always tell everybody, like, if you're interested in becoming a YouTuber or starting something like that, you don't need, like, a lot of fancy equipment. And as a matter of fact, if there's one thing that I would invest in, if we could go back and start all over again, I would have invested, first and foremost, in a high-quality microphone before I ever would have bought a uh, camera. an expensive camera. We literally could have just upgraded our cell phones to have the, like, highest quality of iPhone camera at right. the time and then had microphones um, yeah. because I... I noticed that whenever I do, because Josh was talking about how he doesn't like to go back and rewatch our videos. Um, he like he has this whole like cringe thing. Like it's hard to watch. Uh, they are cringe. <laughs> Some of them are, but I have like I I don't really go back and watch our videos either. Every once in a while, we will go back and watch the River Cruise ones because we just had such a good time on that trip. Um, there's one Alaska video that I really like that I go back and watch. And um, uh, there's like two from Disney World from years ago that I just loved how the videos came together and I loved the music that got used with them that yeah. I will go back and watch from time to time. Like um, I have like playlists on my phone of like vlog music that we've used from like, uh, we use two different music sharing platforms for all of our music. Um, and I have playlists of those, so I'll go back. And if I'm listening to one of those songs, I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to go back and watch this video. Like I recognize a song immediately. Um, so I don't think it's as cringe as Josh, but I do feel like sometimes it is weird going back and watching your own old videos. <laughs> yeah. I just, well, I think for me too, it's just Disney. Um, I think we just, did, we did Disney so often. It just got very mundane. So Honey, so often is an understatement. I know. All we so did was Disney originally. Nothing was, nothing was very special about it. And and so a lot of the trips that we do now, they're a lot more special, right? They have, a, I think they have a lot more meaning and value to ourselves. So they're easier to go back and watch because it's something that's like fun to go like back and relive. Like when are we going to go back and do that again? Right. Not that We're Disney's like, not fun to go back and relive. No, and not it that it's not special, is, but, but we or we're just able to do that so much more right. easily than yeah. when we go to Europe or when we went sure. to California and yeah, that sort yeah. of thing. Like, yeah. like 
who yeah. knows when we're going to do that again. Yeah. So it so, just makes it more exciting to watch again. Yeah. So this uh, this week, uh, I think I think it's time we can really dive into some details here for what we've got coming up because um, we haven't really done that. We've been yeah, around the bush a little bit. Because by the time this gets posted, right. yeah, we'll yeah. be done right. with these things. Yes. So. And there will be more <laughs> uh, videos coming out and circling and, and, and things like that. Uh, so. If you follow us on Instagram or Facebook, you'll have seen on like our stories right. where we've been because yeah. I will be posting. Uh, so we have got, um, we're, we are staying at Disney's. Hold, hold on, what? before you get into that, we've got three weeks of really busyness. Well, yeah, it's three <laughs> weeks of fun. It is, three, it is going to be three weeks of fun. We're, uh, I, I slept in yesterday till like nine o'clock. And so did Josh. And when he woke up, he's like, why'd you sleep in so late? I thought you were going to get up early. And I didn't even say it, but I was thinking in my head, like, buddy, this is the last day I'm going to get to sleep in for like weeks. So I'm taking advantage of it because we're going to, we're going to be staying on Disney property. We're going to be rope dropping. And then we've got, we've got basically three trips back to back to back. Right. Well, maybe let's just talk about what we're doing this upcoming week, yeah. and then we can we can wait until the following episode or something like that to break yeah. into like we the next real big trip, which I think maybe we've hinted at or talked about a little bit here and there. If but. you have paid attention on all of our social media platforms, right. you would know. You should know what we are doing, yeah. or would have figured it out. So this week, what we've got coming up, which is really exciting, is we're going to be staying over on property. So we're going to be doing a little staycation at yes. Disney's Port Orleans French Quarter. Now, we've never yes. stayed here before. We've stayed at Riverside a few times. Mm -hmm. um, we stayed at Riverside. I think I stayed at Riverside for the first time uh, as an actual trip, not for like one night, uh, which is typically what Taylor's family used to do back in the day. Yep. Because they're DVC, they'd come down and stay one night and then check into the DVC the next day. So uh, we stayed for the first time back in 2009. No. Oh, we didn't stay there in 2009. You're right. The first time that you and I stayed over at Port Orleans was a split stay. Um, was, that actually, was in 2014. Yeah, we actually, we went when on. when we got engaged. We did, we <laughs> did what I always recommend people not to do, which is we went to, we went and did a Disney cruise first. We yes. did the fantasy um, and had a great time. And then we went and stayed at Disney afterwards. Now, that wasn't totally in our control because that was still kind of like we were planning things with Taylor's family. Yeah. Um, and they wanted to go to the parks afterwards. So we stayed at uh, uh, Wilderness Lodge. We stayed at Wilderness for a Lodge few first with my family. Yeah. And then they left and we moved over to uh, Riverside. Yeah, because we wanted to stay a few extra days. Um, but that was actually the trip where we got engaged and Josh did make a little like talking video about that, which is just, it's still so funny to go back and like think about. Oh, I did, yeah. You did because um, Skylar saw me like scrolling through some videos the other day and she's like, oh, you have a video of when you got engaged? And I was like, no, actually we don't. I said, but we do have some pictures. Too bad because the spot's not there anymore. It Occupied is not by there. We, we have the pictures, stand. but um, shoot. I forget what I was saying. Well, we have stayed over at Riverside me. after that, too, for Marathon Weekend. Yes. Um, and we've been to French Quarter. We just oh, haven't yeah, yeah. stayed mm -hmm. there. Yeah, yeah. Um, we've walked around the property. Um, we've done, we've gone over there to eat um, on a couple different occasions. We've eaten over there. Yeah. So it, it'll be fun. Uh, it's a, a good place just to be able to relax and hang out. We don't have a real strict agenda for this trip. So it's not like we're... We don't. You know, we have to go do A, B, C, and D. We do have a few dining uh, reservations that we will also do. Yeah. Da, 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 dining reviews at. I only um, have two dining reservations officially. Yeah. So, we uh, obviously, we're going to be hitting Flower and Garden Festival. You guys know we stopped doing opening day stuff a couple years ago, basically coming out of COVID. Um, yeah. It just, it, it just got is, so stressful yeah. and, like, it didn't feel fun anymore so i do have we some, like it to feel fun right and i have a, a few recommendations from some people of things to try oh, not related to flower and garden festival yeah not related to flower and garden festival so i just had a podcast uh for go to a getaways i host a podcast uh and i each week i try to have a new agent on talking about something that they're passionate about and excited about so i just had somebody on and she was telling me that they have this really good drink um, it's like a tea drink with like chocolate milk or something like that over in Japan. She says that it's really good. Okay. But she brought it up because I, uh, if you guys have been watching us for years, there was one time at maybe Food and Wine, somebody told me to buy the chocolate stout. They're like, <laughs> it tastes like chocolate milk. And it 
didn't taste like chocolate milk. No. I'm sure to somebody that likes beer, so, maybe it did taste like chocolate milk. They lied but to, to me. somebody that does not drink beer Liars. at all, Liars. it does not taste like chocolate milk. So yeah, so we're gonna be hitting. Is that still recording? Um, I just don't know what that says. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we'll be hitting up Flower and Garden Festival. Oh, this is interesting. We'll see how it sounds with like being out on the on the highway here because we haven't recorded anything on the highway. No, um, so we'll be at Flower and Garden Festival. Obviously, we're gonna hit up old MK and probably do late night at MK. Uh, we're gonna do rope drop at. I really want to do flight. We're rope dropping three days. Okay. So we're going to be rope dropping Animal Kingdom, which we haven't done in years. forever. It has to have been years. So I'm excited to do that. I really, I'm like dying to do Flight of Passage because that, it, it's probably still one of my favorite rides, I would say. Um, but I used to be able to go over there and ride it all the time Yeah. Um, before they switched over to Disney Genie, um, when you had to pay for it, when it was Fast Pass on day of Typically, if you would either rope drop or you could try and get yourself a fast pass. I used to go over and ride with a fast pass all the time. And that was literally like my favorite time to go to Animal Kingdom was when I knew I could, could ride Flight of Passage. So we haven't been on it in so long. And I've really, um, I have a Disney playlist. So on my Disney playlist, I was listening to music from Pandora. There's like a whole playlist you can get um, on Apple Music that's from Pandora. And the Flight of Passage music came on and I was like, Josh, I'm like, please. I'm like, we have to rope drop Animal Kingdom. He's like, honestly, he's like, I don't care what we do. He's like, plan whatever you want. I was like, we're rope dropping Animal Kingdom one day. Yeah, I think, well, the other nice thing too is that like in the past when we've done staycations, I still usually have to go back and like worry about the dogs because like sometimes we'll put them in the creek, in the kennel, sometimes we won't. So this is like definitely a, a, like a trip of like, you know, this is a staycation where, like, we don't have to worry about anything at all. Yes. We're just going to be taken care of. totally zoning out the rest of the world. Uh, so, yeah. So, we're, we're going to be basically hitting all of the parks. Yep. Um, and we're also going to be hitting up Universal. We are. Because as part of what is to come in the following week, apparently. Yes. Uh, well, maybe this will be, will be more for Iceland. I don't know. You, you'll have to decide that. But we're going to go to Universal so we can buy uh, some wizard robes that won't be for iceland i, I meant like for the iceland group trip like the, when we go to uh london and we do the harry uh, potter oh yeah i yeah, guess yeah. i guess yeah. i guess no so, but i need a robe i need my ravenclaw robe so taylor has said that she if made, you're a harry potter fan make sure you comment your house i yeah. need to know okay and we're back <laughs> sorry we had a little battery issue there <laughs> totally forgot about that um yeah yeah so we were talking about going to Universal so that I can get my Ravenclaw right. robe yes. for the back-to-back-to-back to back to back trip Thursday. for part of it. Yeah, I think we're going to do that on Thursday. Depending um, depending on a few other things that are happening this week, I may change what day we're going to Universal, but we'll see. Yeah, I I, I think what's really nice is just we're, we're trying to keep it nice, open, and flexible. Nothing, like, too strict. Yeah. We have two dinner two dinner dining two reservations. Two dinners. Two dinner. Two dinner dining reservations, um, which I'm actually going to see. I'm going to keep checking here um, today and maybe even tomorrow morning to see if I can get one of them changed. Because um, if I can, that's why I might switch around the universal day a little bit. Yeah, so we, uh, we've we got that. And then our good friends, Caitlin and Tyler, are coming to town. Yep. So they... Caitlin said to bring her a mic. <laughs> yeah, um, we... So we got an opportunity uh, again. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. We got another opportunity to go back onto one of the most, uh, dare I say, hated cruises. I don't really understand. I mean, I, I, I guess I can kind of see where people are coming at with this. But like we've mentioned before, and I know it's we're like all, beating a dead horse. It's all on expectations here. All what, you know. about expectations. Get what you pay for. Right. And, experiences. And, and I think that you can still have a really, really good time on something that's super budget friendly. And so yes. uh, we got invited to come back onto Margaritaville at sea. So yes, they have. Uh, We're uh, actually kind of excited. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we had a good time. We did actually have a good time the first time yeah, it, because we set the right expectations. Yeah. I, and I think the other thing, too, is that, like, 
we, yeah, I mean, that's it. We, we just, we set the right expectations. We yeah. knew what to expect going into it. We weren't looking for a Disney Cruise Line experience or yeah. a Norwegian or a Royal Caribbean. We've never been on yeah. Carnival, but, you know, I mean, their it's ship hasn't one, caught on fire yet. So uh, At the time, there was one ship in their fleet. They are about to have a second ship in their right. fleet. So it's like, it's a really small cruise line. They took an older ship, they refurbished it, um, and apparently they've actually refurbished again. And because they've refurbished and then they have this new ship coming out, they wanted to invite us back so that we can see the new right. changes that they've made, um, share those with you guys, and then um, kind of get people excited for the next new ship that's yeah. coming out. And so we, uh, you know, I'm, we I'm obviously... excited to see the new ship. Yeah. I, I'd love to see the new ship because it looks beautiful. Actually. We, uh, we, we obviously message with Kayla and Tyler like all the time. They're really good friends of ours. Uh, and so we, I just happened to, to tell them, I said, Hey, you know, we're, we're, uh, we just got invited back to go on. It was Margarita literally Bill. casual conversation. We're telling them we're going back. Yeah. And this was, um, this was only just a few weeks ago that they had reached out. It was just a few weeks ago. Uh, last month, actually in February. And so yeah. I had just, I, 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 I said it jokingly just because like their time is not as flexible as ours. So I know yeah. that they can't go do everything. Um, but you know. Uh, they'll talk more about it, but they took advantage of the heroes sale free. So yeah. um, they uh, obviously we were invited. So our cruise fare is comped. That should be very obvious to anybody uh, watching. Now that doesn't affect our own opinions of what the cruise line is or does or whatever. But, but anyways, they're coming along. So you kind of get a little, obviously they're not vlogging, but like you can still get a little bit of an idea of like, you know, their paid experience, if you want to, if you want to look at it that way, I guarantee you their experience will be no different than ours. So, uh, but we're really excited. We had a really great time, just Taylor and I last time, yeah. and we're excited that Caitlin and Tyler are coming to, you know, kind of get the experience. And, you know, I do remember that I think one of the things that stuck out with me the most from our experience on there was that like the staff were still very, very friendly, like super friendly. And we're going over the top to, like, make sure that everything was, you know, good uh, and having a good time. So Yeah. But honestly, even, like, this is something that we look for. And actually, I want to bring up a TikTok that I saw, um, like, last week. Um, oh, I need a card. A card? For what? Yeah. Because I got a different reservation and now I got to change all of our plans. But I need to update my bank card on my... My Disney experience. Oh, my uh, Disney experience. So, yeah. Um, so, Caitlin and Tyler are coming down. We're going to be doing that with them. We uh, we did get a, like, excursion. So, because this is only a two-night sailing, um, they don't really have, like, a lot going on as far as, like, excursions go. Because you're just going out to uh, the Bahamas and uh, coming back. Let me turn on my do not disturb. Yeah, we're, like, we're struggling right now. Uh, I keep thinking like this is live and uh, thank goodness it's not, <laughs> but yeah. So uh, we do have like a little excursion. We're going out to like one of the like all inclusive hotel Island beach places. Yes. So that should be fun. And we, we had thought about doing something with the pigs again, but we've already done it. So yeah, I told Kayla and Tyler, they're more than welcome to do it if they wanted to, but we would not be doing it with them. So, um, you know, I think Caitlin said something like she's fine with leaving the forbidden meatballs in the water and uh, relaxing with all-inclusive drinks and food and things like that. <laughs> so, um, it should be fun. Now, I, we didn't really do like a – I don't think we did a very good uh, tour of the ship. I mean, we did walk around and look at a few things. I went back and watched our original video, uh, I, and I saw like there was a lounge um, – up uh, like towards the top and at the front of the ship that we never even went into after we walked into it the first night. Yeah. So we might go back up into there, maybe like the second evening just to relax and unwind and do a little podcast episode. So I yeah, don't know if Kaylin was being serious, but she had said about maybe one If Kaylin said something, she was probably being serious. So yeah, I put her on the spot now. She so. will not let you down. Um, so, so I wanted to talk about something with, um, Oh, what was this TikTok I saw? Dead air. I don't know. You're just... I got... Sorry. I got really distracted because that... Also, you don't need to talk so loudly. I Remember. Got, 
Josh tells me not to talk loud, but like, does he literally not know me? Um, okay, so I got a new reservation for Thursday, March 28th. Um, so I'm gonna have to switch some of our plans around a little bit. However, I think so, it's, I, I think it's gonna work out better oh, okay. doing it this way. Sure. Um, so um, I need to look at park hours, but anyway. Um, I don't know. You're going to have to talk about something else for a second so I can think of this. Because if I start talking, I'm going to... Well, I just realized that I did not bring my Universal Pass. Oh, my God. Me either. So, I told so, you to help me find mine and we forgot. So now we have to pay to park and we have to go yeah. get new cards issued. Um, which kind of sucks. Unless we try to, like, park at a hotel and walk over. That's kind of, like, a really inconvenient way to just yeah, to avoid is. paying 20 bucks or something. So... Maybe we'll just pay the $20 uh, when we go over and get new cards. But, um, yeah, I left mine in my car. So, Sorry, I'm all, like, uh, well, confused and yeah. stuff right now. So we're also uh, going to be staying at a treehouse villa, which is kind of cool. I am really so, excited about that. Uh, the whole, when we mentioned this to Caitlin and Tyler, and, and they they were totally on board with coming down and and. Uh, what was kind of nice was that, like, Margaritaville at Sea gave us kind of, like, some freedom of when we could go. So we tried to coordinate and see if we could get, you know, weekends to match up, and we were able to. Uh, so uh, so as part of that, they are going to come down the night before because anytime that you're going to do a cruise, you should always come in the day before uh, Unless just to be you safe. are driving to the port. Right. From, like, your home. Yeah. You should uh, always come in the day before. Yeah. So we're uh, the, they are DVC members. And so they got a treehouse villa for us all to stay in the night before, which is kind of cool. So we're going to check out of uh, French Quarter and head on over to the treehouse villa and hang out there. So I think they're going to be going into Epcot that day. We're probably going to go to They're going to do the wraparound. Kingdom. Yeah. And then we'll meet back up with them like later on when it's time to check in yeah. and hang out. We'll have dinner over there and just relax. I mean... We're we are, we're going to give ourselves like the full treehouse villa experience right. by basically when we check in, we're like, we're not going to go back out into a park. We're going to stay and hang out at the treehouse villa. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, we're probably going to go out and get food because um, I am dying to have some sushi. I haven't had sushi in a couple weeks. So I'm like, there's a bunch of super sushi places really close by to Disney. So we're going to go get some sushi. Right. <laughs> um, okay. So I remembered what I was going to talk about. So I was talking about Margarita Velt Sea. Ten and, minutes later. And having the right expectations, whatever. So Josh was saying that they gave us like a really good experience and we're always checking on us or whatever. And something that we do, if we are ever invited to have an experience, um, specifically like a cruise. So we've done a few cruises like um, as part of the travel agency. And we've also done some um, trips, excursion or um, cruises, whatever, as travel with Josh and Taylor. So we've kind of seen it from two different perspectives. Um, but something that we always like are mindful of is how are other regular guests, not regular, but just like paying guests, paying customers, how are they being treated in comparison to us who were invited? Are we getting special treatment because we were invited here? Or are we getting the same treatment that other customers are receiving that paid? And what mostly I think we noticed when we were on Margaritaville at sea, everybody was being treated the same way we were. I thought they were mostly. Yeah, I mean. The, the Obviously, th there's some, you know, special circumstances. Um, but I think, like, for the most part, like, if you went up to the bar to order a drink, we were getting the same friendly customer service that the next person to us was getting. What I would say with that is it's not like being invited on a like in Disney when you get invited to do something in Disney most of the time like they give you a lanyard people know that you're there and you're invited yes. to do stuff that would they be also, more like an influencer event if you will sure or media I event. mean they've been slightly changing over the years but yeah you know they'll have an area marked off just for you to go in and experience something so your experience that you're having when you're invited to an event like that is not really what the paying guest is going to get to experience yes. But on a cruise, though, yes. it's a little bit different. And this is even more so like when we do stuff for the travel agency, because nobody on that cruise, the team member or the, the, the crew members, 
other people for the most part, occasionally there will be somebody who recognizes us, which is crazy, but for the most part, nobody knows like who we are. Yep. So we're not receiving any special treatment. And, and dare I say, uh, <laughs> it's very evident, uh, especially when we do our group stuff, because we seem to have the worst table service when we have a group of like six or more people at a table. You know, and it, you would think that, like, if they knew that we were on the ship. Oh, you're talking about the Mediterranean cruise. I'm well, like, oh, even, our, I'm even, like, our server, Jason, on Royal Caribbean was excellent last but January. Even, <laughs> even when we did Alaska, um, yeah. you know, Alaska was the same way. You yeah, would think that if, like, they knew that we were there and that we were there to capture everything that we're doing or whatever, mm -hmm. they would treat us differently and they would make sure that that service was, like, top notch, blah, blah, blah. That's not the case. And I think that's what's really nice about doing when we go on cruises, whether we're invited or we're not invited or, or we're paying on our we're own or, or not going yeah. for the travel agency, going for us, we, whatever we are a hundred percent. I don't want to say hundred percent, 99% of the time treated just like every single other guest. Yes. So I think like if there was probably one time, maybe that we, that we weren't, it was when we were in the med. Uh, and I think it was the med or no, maybe it was when we did Alaska in, uh, October. Or something like that. It was when we did one of the Gogel stuff for the agencies. And I had to go down to the front desk and be like, listen, like, we were brought on as part of, like, a fam trip, you know, and something's not right. And after, like, I mentioned that and I'm like, the BDM's here and he's on the ship with us, like, they take care of it, like, right away. So that's, like, the only time I think I've ever had to say something to get something done was that one time. Well, I think we got charged for something that we weren't supposed right. to be. Yeah. So... Or that other, was already, like, prepaid or right. whatever. Yeah. So, yeah. other than that, like, I, I don't know. If you're a crew member happening to, like, listening to this podcast or you've been watching us for a while and you're a crew member on one of the cruise ships, maybe you know. Um, but I don't really know if they have any type of identifiers to people's names when they swipe a card. Oh, like in the back end. Right. Like in the system. Obviously, if you're a sweets guest or something like that, like you paid a lot of money to be on the ship... You better be getting you, good treatment. But but your card, <laughs> but you have a very specific color you coordinated do, card. You do so, have a different so card. So they don't even yeah. need to know your name. It's like, oh, this person is a sweet guest. Like I have to be careful with like what I'm doing. So right. So yeah. Um, so yeah, like we, we I I think honestly for the most part we're treated just like every other guest. And yes. even when we are brought on, for example, like this Margaritaville at Sea Cruise, I have no problem telling you how I feel about something. I mean, yeah. I, I, that's just my character. Um, for years, when we would get invited to do Disney stuff, like, I did not like that. Because I felt like I couldn't be honest because Disney wouldn't like it because they were inviting us to go do something. But um, Not just Disney, but anything. Sure. Really. So, you know, for this, um, for all of this stuff, I think it's really nice. You know, I, I think uh, I'm interested to see if, like, maybe any of the buffet menus have changed. Because I do remember last time I said, like, Josh didn't like the buffet last time. The buffet kind of sucks. Uh, <laughs> it does, just hands down. I mean, it's again, this is a pay for what you get, right? You get what you mm -hmm. pay for. Um, and setting the proper expectations is key. All right, you're getting a little further into Sorry. this than I wanted to. I basically just wanted to say that I feel like, for the most part, when we go to where we're invited to something or brought on to something, and we are not like, wearing a lanyard that says that we are part of media or influencer or whatever it feels like we are treated like everybody else from what we are watching everybody else get treated like and i have been thinking about that recently because i just watched a tiktok a couple days ago and i got i, I was really invested in this because it was very interesting hearing from a paying customer's perspective this girl went to greece and she, her and like her and her friends, they had like saved up all this money. They were at like one of the islands in Greece. I forget which one. Um, but they had saved up money to go to this like really fine dining restaurant. And so they had booked a reservation in advance. They had already kind of looked at the menu so that they knew like what to budget for this uh for this dinner um and so they go they check in for their reservation they go get seated um the sun's like setting so it's starting to get a little cooler out because they're on like the coast they have a beautiful view of the water um and this restaurant has blankets for the guests so, like this is just like a gnome thing this is a very high-end restaurant they have blankets for the guests this girl asks hey we see all the other tables have blankets and we saw on your website about that like would we be able to get some blankets 
and the server was like, oh no, I'm sorry. Like we don't have any blankets left. They thought nothing of it and were like, oh, okay. Like that's fine. Like we realized we're like one of the last tables seated for the evening, like totally fine. Not too long later, another table gets seated and they're like, these girls are kind of paying attention and notice that like, it seems like they're really doting over this couple that just got seated. And a couple minutes later, this couple was brought blankets that they were told they were out of. And she was just like, okay, well, like that's a little frustrating, but like I have a sweater on, I'll be fine. And then they go to like order their food and they order their appetizers. Appetizers come out, they like get this octopus dish and the server comes over to their table and was like, hey, like I have your appetizers, but I really wanna show this other table over here your appetizer. And she was just like, um, okay. So the guy takes her appetizer over to this other table and is like explaining this dish in super detail to this couple and then takes it back over to her, doesn't explain the dish at all and just sets it down and leaves. And she's just like, I don't understand what is happening. So then they order their entrees and she, like I said, she had already looked at the menu and knew exactly what she was gonna get because they had like budgeted for this and she like had picked out the things. So she was like, okay, well, I'm just like between these two dishes, what do you think? And he was like, oh, don't get that. And she's like, oh, like why, like are you out? Or like, is it not any good? Like what, like why shouldn't I get this? Oh, you just shouldn't get that. And she's like, okay, well that's what I really want. So that's what I want to get. And he's like, oh no, no, you shouldn't get that. And he's just, she's like, I literally don't understand. She's like, okay, well I'm going to get this instead. And he's like, no, you shouldn't get that either. And she's like, okay, I like don't understand. I just want to get this food. Finally, she's like, I'm getting this. I also want a salad. And he's like, oh, well that's too much food for you. And she's like, what is happening? Whatever, they finally get their food orders in. Um, this other table over there, they bring them out like all these appetizers, all these entrees. Um, and like whenever they were talking about the entrees, they were literally talking about how good these two entrees were that he told this girl not to order. And she's like, I don't understand what's happening. Whatever, they finish their meal, they leave, they go to this, go to a restaurant the next day, just so happens the same couple ends up at the table next to them at this other restaurant. And they start talking to this other couple and we're like, oh my gosh, we've been thinking about you guys all day. And then that couple is like, we've been thinking about you guys all day. Turns out these people were like restaurant reviewers, but they were getting all this special treatment while this regular cost paying customer, paying customer is getting not very good attention. And um, this reviewing couple actually put in their review how poorly these girls were treated at that restaurant and did not recommend this restaurant. Um, so it's just, uh, that's something that we pay attention to. And after I heard that story, I was just like, oh my gosh, like it is important that you pay attention to how other people are treated. Um, and I know a lot of people that I have seen on social media do not pay attention to how other people are being treated because they're getting special treatment and that's all they care about. But in our perspective, because we're partnered with a travel agency, um, we do care about what the paying customers experience is, especially because a lot of the time we are also a paying customer. Yeah, I, I think that that's one thing that that a lot of people, um, you know, will judge like successful YouTubers as like how many things that they get, they get invited to or whatever don't have to pay for. And I think that's not the case. And, and well, uh, you should, they shouldn't think, be judged that way. I think that, no, you're right. You shouldn't judge that way. But I also think that that's a really great benefit to when you're not being invited to do a lot of different things because you're getting the actual experience. Cause you do get the actual experience. You know, I mean, if, an, if a, if somebody's inviting you to come on, usually it is for marketing and they want that to be good marketing to get right. their name out there and their brand awareness. Uh, but at the same time, you know, I always really like to just be able to share what our experience is because I think that it's valuable to somebody else, you know? Uh, and if it's not like a real genuine experience, then it's not really the real experience that you might get as well. You know, mm -hmm. restaurants are difficult. Like I, like I think we've, we've only been invited to restaurants a few times. Um, and I think the one time, like they actually had only invited people to come out and review and like test the food out, which was, um, what was his name? Rick blaze. 
Rick Blaze? Rick Bayless? Rick Bayless? No, Rick Blaze. Rick Blaze, right? No, Richard Blaze. Richard Blaze? Is that his name? Oh my gosh, you got me so confused. I don't know. Uh, we went to his restaurant and they had like the seafood tower and it was all seafood stuff, right? Yeah. Like that was one where like they invited us to come out. No, they didn't. I booked that reservation and we oh. paid for that meal. Oh, really? Yes. I thought there was like a bunch of people there like they invited out to do the reviews. No. Well, just cut that. Well... Whatever. We brought a camera, so they, maybe that's what they made it did. Up give us the seafood tower because I had messaged them on Instagram and just said like, "Hey, like, oh. I want to make sure there's no like recording restrictions because right. we make videos for our YouTube channel." And they were like, "Oh no, no, like you're fine." So they like had an idea that we were coming. We were not looking for anything, but it just happened that. Okay. Well, well, what I was gonna say was they that, were like, there and they did give us stuff. I was gonna say that like everybody was getting superb. It looked from our perspective like everybody was getting really great service. No, but that was like us. a regular night at the restaurant. And the yeah, so. And that's funny that you thought that everybody uh, was exactly, invited there. Exactly. No, they were not at right. all. So yep, yeah. it was a regular dinner night. There you go. Um, <laughs> which just goes to show that like yeah, I mean we do try to pay attention to that kind of stuff um, because it, it does matter and. But on the flip side of a restaurant, though, is that, like, restaurants have off nights. You'll get a server that just is, like, not feeling it, doesn't care. And I think that that ne shouldn't necessarily be, like, a judgment call of to be, like, I'm never going to go back there again because the service was terrible. Josh is one of those people that likes to give a place a second chance. Absolutely. To Every make sure I mean, that things are good. Everything um, should. There is one restaurant in Disney Springs that we did not return to because we did not have a good experience. Uh, what's his name? Wolfgang Puck. And it was really disappointing. Because, because his burgers are pucks. They literally were. The it was pizza awful. was like $16. It was and was like, I could have got a better one for 10 bucks at Pizza Hut. Like 100%. <laughs> the absolute worst dining experience we've ever Our had. Our service was not good. Like, just the whole experience was not good. We actually stopped filming halfway through and right. never posted the video from it because it was so bad. Yeah. So, I, I mean, and, and again, too, anytime that we do get invited to do something, like, I always make sure to let everybody know that um, in the yeah. videos, you know, because it's important, excuse me, that you do know. Now, um, when we do fan trips, like, for the agency, we still typically have to pay some type of fare, whether yes, that's to get there or we're paying taxes and fees. A fam's a familiarity trip for travel agents. <laughs> yeah, so it's not like we're being invited as like an influencer to do anything. A familiarity trip or a fam trip is just so that we can experience what that experience is. Yeah. And typically, again, they don't know that you're a travel agent. No. Um, and so you're there experiencing everything just as... A regular guest. Everybody else does. Yep. You know? So, uh, yeah, a little... BTS into like how things are done, I guess, uh, from our perspective. But of course, we'll always get somebody who says that, like, you know, I remember when we were doing dining reviews all the time. And uh, occasionally when people would want to do a dining review with us, they would pay for it. Oh, just shut off. It got too hot. Anyways, I'll, we'll just wrap this up because uh, we've been doing it for a little while. And you can just sit here with the black screen for a few seconds. But you can just throw up like an image. Sure. Um, <laughs> But we would have, we would do those and somebody else would pay for us. And they'd say, well, your review is not genuine because you didn't pay for the meal. But that but was the, never the case because no, the, restaurant the restaurant was not providing it, a meal. Right? We were still being treated just like any other guest. Yeah. Just somebody else at the table sitting with us was paying for the meal. There's right? just like, there's all these negative Nancys out there. And I, sure. I actually saw a video about this this morning. Um, this girl who likes to do videos, um, basically laughing at the negative comments that she gets right. and how ridiculous they are. And I was like, oh my gosh, I would actually love to go back into some of our old videos and read some of the ridiculous comments that we yeah. get like that, that are like telling us we're doing something wrong when right. they have no idea what goes into something. Yeah. So this was probably a shorter episode. Really? Um, I thought this felt really long because we left like, yeah, a while ago. Well, I think the first recording maybe was only for 20 minutes. Maybe it was longer than that? I think it was a little longer than that. I don't but know. But anyways, um, yeah, so this was a no-nonsense podcast, right? No. Um, this was nonsense. Uh, no, it wasn't. We got to the point we're of all over the place. talking about what the trip was. and a little then bit we of just... gear, some, some trip stuff coming up, yeah. So whatever. I thought it was perfectly fine. But we will have I, I think what's kind of what we're looking forward to, or maybe I'm just looking forward to, is just doing more podcasts like this kind of in the moment. Um and like while we're out and about and on the trip. Because like 
we don't necessarily have a lot of time coming up in the next three or four weeks to, to sit down and record yeah. something from at home. So it's going to be like on the go podcasts. Right. Uh, and I can edit these pretty quickly, uh, which is kind of cool with, uh, with all of the new things coming to the editing new software. New technology, space. new software. Yeah. So uh, like I said, the only thing might be audio and I apologize if it doesn't sound. No, I think it's going to be fine. As think... great. Taylor's being so loud over I there sometimes. I also think, well, I just have that big Red Bull. I normally don't have a 12 ouncer. I normally have an 8 ouncer. Yeah, I can't believe you got so that. So I think it, well, I knew we were going to be in the car for a little bit. So I wanted to have something to sip on and I chugged that sucker. <laughs> yeah, you did. So, yeah, uh, if you have uh, something that you'd like to hear us talk more about, please let us know down in the comments below. Uh, we will be in the Disney parks and then we'll be on a cruise. So, uh, you know, let us, I mean, I guess if you comment about wanting to see something. that's only parts one and, that's back, back to back one and two. There's also number sure. three coming after. Right. Uh, <laughs> so I guess anything that you comment, we won't actually be able to do anything about because it will be after the fact. But uh, regardless, you know, if you, there is something you want us to talk about, go into more detail about uh, later on, definitely let us know. Hit us up. Shoot us a message. and uh, Don't shoot us a message. Email. Yeah, email. Sure, whatever. If you, you send know. us a Facebook message, it is rare that we're going to see it. I yeah, actually it'll probably have, get lost. I have an automated message now that says to email us if it's something you want us to see. Perfect. <laughs> that is much better. Um, yeah, so well, thanks for listening, everybody, and you'll see or hear us apparently because there's no video right now in the next one. <laughs> Bye. Bye.